Titus. And this is the Armageddon update. Well, we keep getting closer to Armageddon, and nobody seems to care. I mean, this channel, Christopher Titus TV, should have 15 million subscribers by now, but I guess people don't want to know about the world coming to an end because it's all negative and world endy. So instead, let's go play Halo and watch Miss Maisel until the nuclear fire consumes us. <laughs> oh, so much better. Now, a couple of days ago, our president, Sweet Potato Hitler, assassinated the head of the Iranian army. I'm pleased to inform you the American people should be extremely grateful. Now, I'm not saying that the dude didn't deserve to die. I'm just saying, think it through. If we kill every douchebag on the planet, then we won't know who to hate. We always need to have an apex asshole to know what we are fighting against. I mean, look, Harvey Weinstein is an asshole and has really amped it up with his walking a walker into court thing. I mean, the dude's like a, a Tiny Tim one-act play, except <laughs> with rape. You know, we should drone strike Harvey Weinstein. I mean, if it was open season on everybody who was a murderous a-hole, then we'd have the streets of the world littered in dead a-holes. Leave your old a-holes on the side of the road. We will pick them up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Also, your rapists and pedophiles. Sounds like heaven, doesn't it? Here's the problem. With the killing the defense secretary of Iran, besides screwing up traffic horribly with that funeral. If we kill the defense secretary of Iran, then it's open season on the defense secretary of North Korea, South Korea, Iraq, the Bahamas, and South Florida. And we don't do that. As Americans, our job is to always stand above the random monkey base level, hit a douchebag in the head with a rock, stomp his face into the ground. Unless you're at an MMA fight. I mean, be real. God, I wish our president had a bigger penis. We could avoid all of this. You know, we have let countries kill and chop up journalists because they wrote a bad yet honest article. I'm looking at you, bone saw bin Salman. So although the killing of Suleimani Asa Kaka 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 Basra Baja Kaka Makanarian, or whatever the hell his name was, was justified, it may not have been the best judgment call from a man who bankrupt casinos and said out loud in front of television cameras, If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know, we had a treaty with Iran, and we were working to a place of mutual peace and prosperity. I mean, look, Russia shot down a jetliner, and we did nothing. Russia invaded Crimea. We did nothing, except for sanctions. <laughs> And when has that ever worked in a fight? Yo, man, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah? Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it hard for you to get goods and services. Yeah, now what you got? The rules aren't applied evenly on the world stage. It seems as though we are all living in a dark, evil Narnia invented by Willy Wonka and the Cars for Kids psychopaths. 1877 Cars for Kids. And by the way, why do kids need cars? I mean, they can barely wipe their own asses, let alone drive. Frankly, I don't get it. But the reality about Iran is we had a nuclear deal. Trump's own people said they were following it. We pulled out of the deal. Then they shot down a drone. And then we assassinated their defense secretary. So I believe we skipped a few levels. Now, right or wrong, we are this much closer to a species extincting, planet-killing world war than we have ever been since Ronald Reagan said on the radio, I've signed legislation that will outlaw Russia forever. <laughs> we begin bombing in five minutes. And you know why? It's all because of the Electoral College. <sighs> Thank you, rural America with no people or book learning. Namaste. I know, look it up. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. <sighs> I think I mispronounced the dude's name.